Hello, my beautiful Tauruses. Welcome to your horoscope forecast for your mid May. This is going to cover love, wealth, and what you need to know spiritually that you don't know that you need to know that can help you. I want to thank you guys so much for liking, sharing, subscribing, and thank you to my members. I really appreciate all of your support. And if you would like a live personal reading with me, go to my website, jenniferwalkerz.com, or check out the description box below. And if you guys are a fan of the mysteries or unsolved true crime stories, you may want to check out my second YouTube channel, JWZ Mysteries, and all the information is in the description box below. All right, so what are we going to talk about today? We're going to be talking about love, wealth, and then what you need to know spiritually that you don't know that you need to know that can help you. And if you guys look at this way, you want me to continue this way, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. You can do both. Let's check that out. All right, so what's going to have my Taurus is romantic love life. Give me nine cards for my Taurus's romantic love life. Give me nine cards for my Taurus's career and finance for now until the end of May. Show me cards you can see. Show me the cards I need to see. All right. So as you guys know, I like to do what's going to happen first. So you guys kind of know what the events are here. All right. But yeah, we got so far Aries, Sagittarius, Leo energy, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. Let's take a look at what's going on here. Let's see the overall here. It looks like you guys are out somewhere and it looks like you're reconnecting with someone. And one of the people involved with the situation either has a child or it's like taking place outside somewhere. And someone could be walking their dog as well. Let's get more information about what that's about. <laughs> Isn't that interesting? Also, we got this card here reconfirming that. I know it's a very specific message to us. Okay, so we're starting all of this passionate situation coming in here, okay, with this Knight of Wands energy. And uh, some excitement about some potential love here because of some kind of renewal of the past there with the Six of Cups energy. Let's see what that's about. So we see actions and some kind of potential because of something around the past energy. Okay. Now I'm not saying you dated this person before because it's got the page of cups next to it, okay? It could just be somebody that you're reconnecting with, okay? Some of you guys may have known this person when you were younger, a lot younger, okay? That's possible as well. So I'm like seeing a child here and like a little puppy and then it's growing into like this grown person and then like the dog has gotten older as well. So it definitely is somebody that could have been somebody you connected with a long time ago. All right, so let's kind of my Taurus's romantic love life from now until the end of May. Show me cards you need to see, show me cards you need to see. Give me nine cards for my Taurus's romantic love life. Give me nine cards for my Taurus's career and finance for now until the end of May. Show me the cards you need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. What is this about? Okay, so there's there's a hot message coming in. <laughs> okay, right off the presses there. Uh, looks like it's going to be some fun energy there coming in with this Knight of Wands, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo energy. Some kind of potential passion exercises there, or or an invitation for some there. Okay, <laughs> let's keep going. I have my Taurus's romantic love life for now until the end of May. Show my cards you need to see. Show my cards you need to see. Mm, which is also uh, moving into a romantic situation there. We have a romance card. Okay, let's get more information here. So my Taurus's romantic love life. Give me nine cards for Taurus's romantic love life. Give me nine cards for my Taurus's career in finance. For now until the end of May. Show me cards you need to see. Show me cards you need to see. Okay, let's move this here. Let's move this here. Okay. All right, so what's going on here? All right. You guys are questioning, like, why? Why now? Why now? Why? Why? Why is this going on now? Okay. I get the sense that uh, the situation that you're asking about the why is because of something about this reconnection going on. Okay, so. 
Um, let's see more information about this Page of Cups. So it looks like there's some kind of invitation. I say some kind of invitation. Gift card can represent invitation. Okay. Uh, think about the bouquet card energy. Bouquet card represents invitation. Bouquet card represents beauty and attraction, appreciation, or giving to an energy. You could be receiving a gift for some of you guys. Okay. But it does look like around this invitation, you're going to have to make a decision very soon. Okay. What is it? As I said, it's something pertaining to someone you have known before. We said the cleanup card coming out. All right, so we're looking at renewal of the past, someone you've known before, okay? Six of Cups energy. There seems to be this really exciting, hopeful energy coming in for you guys, okay? Now, for some of you, this could be the same situation, okay? That Knight of Wands, it could have been somebody that you were passionate with, okay? All right? Uh, but you could have had a fallen out with this person and now there's a reconnection. But I feel like for a lot of you guys, um, it was more of a situation where this was somebody, this person from the past was somebody you're in love with, but you're also dealing with another situation for some of you guys. Okay, so well, let's, see, go, let's keep going. See, well, there's a hopeful energy here, star card. But see, you're stuck between two different situations. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So... And this this one this one from the past you were connecting with though you're really excited about okay because you're like man this is um, this could be something this this is somebody you really was like this could be something okay so you're asking yourself why why now why out of all these times why now why is this person showing up now okay why and it's like. It's like a clearing of the air, but now you're kind of like, now I'm stuck between two different situations here, stuck between two different worlds. Okay, so next up here, you're gonna have to make a decision. What is going on for the rest of this month? It seems like it's like a decision's going on. Okay, so you're gonna have to make a decision. And you can see there's three people in this card, right? Mm -hmm. About your happiness, the joyful energy, okay? And when it comes to a soulmate connection, a relationship, Yep, <laughs> you got two opportunities. Oh my goodness, okay, so let's keep going. <laughs> what I say? Two of Pentacles energy. You're juggling, you're like, all right, what am I gonna do here? What's gonna be the best decision? What's gonna be the best decision? And you're like kind of weighing this, going back and forth, but I could do this, but then I could do that. What's the best decision for me? We see there's a commitment or obligation to making some kind of decision and an effort. So there is, and what do I hear outside? I don't know if you guys can hear it. I hear a dove. A dove is cooing, right as I was saying that. Um, I don't know if you guys know this, but the symbol of a dove, it is for some religions, a very spiritual um, omen. Uh, as far as doves go for me, I feel like doves for me represent love. And uh, so this is very interesting. So it's a conversation, a loving conversation here. You're deeply thinking about this. You're deeply thinking about this and there's an opening up and someone that you're definitely seeing eye to eye here with, but there is two opportunities here, okay? There's two opportunities here and you're wanting to be loyal to your heart here. Okay, so let's keep going. King of Cups is coming out. Yes, there's definitely a deep love here with the King of Cups energy. This is definitely weighing a uh, part of your decision here. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. Let's go further. Okay, so you're trying to get some kind of knowledge, some kind of know-how, some understanding of what to do here in this situation. The timing is right. Luck is on your side. We know that Jupiter just changed signs. What does Jupiter represent? Jupiter represents blessings. There's the blessings card. So blessing is coming in. It does look like you mean lean on someone for support about what to do about this situation, okay? Because we got the uh, support card. All right, so let's bring it all together. Like, why now? Why is it going on now? Okay, this person's trying to clear the air. You're stuck between two different worlds. We see this relationship and this person that you're really connecting with on a soul level here. Um, and there's an opening up between you guys and there's a lot of thinking, contemplating, may even feel that there's a spiritual connection here with that hermit kind of card energy. It does look like you're getting some kind of advice, uh, some support around this. Okay. End of the month here. Okay, what's gonna happen? <laughs> You're right, all right, I'm ready to take a risk. Okay, leap of faith here, okay. I'm concerned about sadness, okay? Or hurting someone, because obviously you gotta make a choice. 
uh, when it comes to commitment, engagement, or marriage. Okay. But you're like, I feel like I'm going in the right direction. Okay. You're about to defend your position. Seven of Wands energy. You're going to defend your position and what you want. And it does look like you're getting some advice from someone. There's a motherly kind of energy in here. So either this is saying you're getting some advice from someone or there's a mother involved with this somehow. Okay. Uh, there's someone who is uh, giving you some support here, though, to defend your position. There is a friendship here or someone that you want to be more than just friends with, okay? But there is concern, will I go round and round in this situation? I don't want to keep going around in circles. So what I feel like here is you're dealing with a person that you've dealt with before. You're reconnecting with this person. You're really excited about it. And you're questioning the timing, though. <laughs> you're like, why now? Um, but on the same token, I get the sense that you guys feel a lot of regret. Like you, you feel like there's some unfinished things with this person that you really want to move forward with. And I feel like this is starting to be a deciding factor for you. And you're feeling like, I'd like to bring this back around, but I don't want to keep going around in circles with this person because before we didn't move forward with this before and I don't want to be in that situation now. So I should just go for it and take a risk. That's what I feel like. But let's see what the final card is here. Oh my God, yes, you guys are going, you're following your heart here. The Two of Cups energy, we see a soulmate connection and it looks like it's mutual too. Looks like it's mutual. Why am I getting so sad right now, guys? It's so emotional right now. Okay, because there is an ending, stopping, completion of this uncertainty. Mm. So you're, you're making this decision, but you're going in with a lot of uncertainty of whether or not you're doing the right thing but you're following your heart with the Ace of Cups energy. Now I see why I'm so emotional. Okay, so uh, you're asking yourself why about this relationship, but you found your direction. You're wanting to clear the air. You've been thinking about this. You don't want to keep going around in circles and being stuck between two different worlds. You gain some kind of support so that you can follow your heart. Okay, so let's keep going. But I do feel like some of you guys are ending another situation to go for it with this person or that person could be, but I feel like it's you guys. Okay. So, but if it is the other way, so take it as it resonates. Let me see the bottom of the deck real quick here. We see new love and offer of love, a love connection here, obsessions, desires to make the best decision in asserting yourself and cutting away unhealthy things from the past to bring things into balance in the sense of confusion, really cautious, defensive, and trying to see how things are going to play out. Lots of soul searching going on and advice being given to help heal the situation when it comes to these delays and challenges. Definitely feeling that there's a spiritual connection here. Okay. I love you. This relationship and a commitment, engage your marriage very soon, making an effort towards this friendship, hopeful energy when the timing is right because of the uncertainty. Okay. That friendship also could just be the person who's giving advice, okay? Or it could be that person from the past you're reconnecting with that um, you wanna be more than just friends. Okay, communication. So we get this communication, revealing letter, message, document, it really makes you happy. There's a sadness that you're giving to because of a commitment or an obligation to a mother energy or getting some kind of advice. You're hopeful because you find something out about an ending. So I feel like, you guys maybe were concerned that this person may be with somebody or you, but you find out that no, they're not with somebody. Okay. So, and, or, and I also want to say that, um, you also could be sad for them because they may have lost a mother figure in their life. Okay. I know that's a very specific message. Okay. All right. So, there's some passion coming in, passionate exercises coming in, and a decision being made. You're about to take a risk of leap of faith. You're excited about this good news. You're weighing a decision, defending your position um, because of this person you're reconnecting from with the past. There's a very deep love connection, very deep love connection, and a soulmate connection, and a relationship here forming that's mutual. Okay, so it's mutual feelings and a deep love with someone from the past. Okay, someone that you've known before. Okay. I'm not saying that this is an X, okay, because it's not shown as an X, but it's definitely someone you've known from before and that you're very excited about, okay? And it's somebody you really love deeply, okay? There's a deep love connection here. You, 
So I want you to be aware of that. That's, that's what I want you to watch out for or, what, or be aware of in this situation, okay? It is someone you've known before, okay? So let's go further. Can I have some advice for my Tauruses when it comes to a romantic love life? For the highest best good, for the best possible outcome for them. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need. Two. See. Okay. Do a walking meditation each day next week. Okay. Uh, all right. Let yourself stand out and be noticed. So they definitely say, appreciate your beauty, your worth, your value, and be that queen of wands and be noticed. Let go of the fear and worry and know that you are safe and protected. Okay, so they're saying, you're beautiful, you're attractive, whether we're talking about male or female here, okay? Know your value, know your worth, stand proud, okay? So don't, don't be worried about this. Worries doesn't help anything. Okay, let's see. Take the time to rest and recuperate after this. Okay. And trust the creative spark. Um, you are feeling and express it through writing and story. So let's, let's just say, because we got to put this pertaining to romance here. So Spirit is saying trust in the divine. Trust that the divine knows what the divine is doing. Trust in this creative spark. Okay. And what's happening here between you and this person. And as we know, your loyalty and faithfulness is misplaced by serving too many masters. As you know, uh, you gotta make a choice this week, uh, this, the rest of this week until the end of the month here. So that's what it's getting at with that. But I just want a little bit more information here. So let's use this deck. I totally like to be clear cut. You know how I am, guys. Okay, so can I ask my choruses when it comes to romantic love life for their highest, best good, best thoughts will come to them for the, now until the end of May, for the romantic love life. Show my cards I need to see. Show my cards I need to see. Okay, let's see here. Yes, as we know, you have to make a sacrifice because you got to make a choice to bring things into balance. Mm -hmm. So be impartial and be patient. Don't rush into anything. Who do you desire? You are fully protected. Know your value and your worth. Again, it's saying you're very beautiful, attractive, whether talk about male or female here. We have this reprisal here. Focus on love. Yep. But I do feel like that's exactly the direction you guys will go into. There's a deep love connection there. Okay, so let's look at your career and finance now. Okay. Wow, you guys have the magician card energy. That's great for career and finance, actually. It's telling me that you basically have everything you need, all the tools that you need. So let's say... For instance, if you were going for a job or something, right? And uh, you were concerned about the competition and stuff like that, it would show you are above and beyond the competition. Like you have the education, the know-how and all that kind of stuff. So say this, in coming in, you have everything, all the tools that you need to fulfill your desires. Nine of Cups energy, another great card. And you still kind of feel though you're trapped in your thoughts here with the Eight of Swords energy. So I wouldn't say worrying about that too much because of you, the fact that you have the Magician and the Nine of Cups, you're going to be able to fulfill your desires. You kind of feel like you're in that trapped energy there with the Eight of Swords, like you're kind of going around in circles and kind of negative talking yourself there. Okay. There's concerns about being used and regrets about what happened because you're concerned someone's not telling you the truth. So I see. So you definitely are overqualified for the situation and could go for what you want here, but the problem is you are concerned because you feel about the situation when it comes to your career and finance that someone's taking advantage of you, of your skills and your worth. Okay. So you're trying to open up about this situation and you've been deeply thinking about this and you get the sense that there is something deceptive or the grass isn't green on the other side or something that glitters isn't gold about the situation. Okay. So we see you're trying to uh, bring things into balance to resolve some things here with the temperance card energy and you are finally starting to gain some confidence here in your situation and you do get some answers and clarity here okay coming up ace of swords energy i do sense, sense you guys are going to recover here and you're listening to your intuition okay 
and it does look like you'll gain some kind of control over the situation or you'll get clarity from a boss or somebody of authority here. You are focused on this brand new life, this brand new situation. You are opening up about what's going on with you. And it does look like you'll get recognition and a victory here coming up from a boss or somebody of authority or someone who's in charge. Okay, so there was some things that happened here where you felt some, some you know, a situation was you, you were taken advantage of. Okay, um, man, there was concerns about this situation, um, but uh, it, does, it does look like it will be resolved and you'll get recognition here and um, because you're gonna open up about what's going on. Okay, so we see this friendship, this networking, this socializing here coming up with the Three of Cups or a joyful celebration here with the main person around something that you thought you were gonna have a loss around. There is some long-term planning going on here. So you guys are definitely thinking and planning something here with the Four of Swords energy. Or some of you guys, just after this whole situation, you're like, I need a break. <laughs> Okay, you're focused on some things that you really love here with the love card energy and you're resolving some kind of conflict here in this situation, some kind of issues or conflict. By the end of the month, you are going to take on some more responsibilities here with this 10 of wands energy um, because of some people involved in this situation with this conversation to um, be able to have some more creative uh, control over this, okay? Or because of this um, creative solution. So, all right, so we can see so far that there's gonna be some air cleared here around this situation when it comes to this new situation and the sense of loss here. Um, you've deeply thought about this and you decide to open up and there's some arguments or fights or some issues here because of some deceptions or something about the situation you felt was like really not, it's like kind of underhanded. So you get recognition and a victory here and it seems like a boss or someone in charge finds a creative solution around this. Okay. Or for some of you, you may take on more of a leadership role because of this, okay? Maybe even gain uh, more of a leadership role here. Okay, so there was this kind of using kind of energy which is resolved with the main person. There's regrets about the situation. You're listening to your intuition, going towards something that you love. There was concerns about lying deceptions, sly slickness of this boss, this person who's in charge, and there was a conversation that takes place. Yep. All right, I'll move this out of the way. We got the Magician card energy showing that you guys have all the tools you need. You are in a good position here. Um, you're patient and you, um, you resolve something here. Okay, this is a healing kind of situation here. Temperance, patient kind of energy. We see that there's a friend Okay, celebration, networking, people involved with this. You fulfill your desires and gain some kind of confidence. There's some planning and thinking about this situation um, because you feel a little bit trapped in your, in your head and your thoughts about this with your hands being tied here, but you get clarity in a victory, but it does look like because of the situation, you may have to take on more responsibility with the 10 of wands energy, but something will be accomplished here in this situation, so don't worry. So let's move this out of the way now, and I want to look at some advice for you guys. Can I advice my Tauruses when it comes to their career and finance for now at the end of May? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, try to stay impartial about this situation. You actually have more power than what you realize. You do have a superpower here. Mm-hmm to make a decision. You'll get some kind of justice here. Fight for what you want, but be patient to let things play out. You have more power than you realize. There's going to be a gift of blessing coming in because of the fact that you have the expertise and the know-how. Uh, when it comes to this person who's been greedy, overindulgent there. You'll have to make a choice around this situation because you're gonna have some reprisals here. And you definitely have a lot of value and worth. So know what your value and worth is. 
I feel like that's pretty straightforward. All right, let's look at what you need to know spiritually that you don't know that you need to know. What does Taurus need to know spiritually that they don't know that they need to know that could help them? Now until the end of May, show me the cards you need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay. Interesting. Um, you are very similar to Aries here. There is something out of balance in your life so do whatever you need to correct it. Stay in the background and adapt to the situation rather than being, um, I feel like they're saying, instead of trying to control the situation, direct the situation the way you want it to, stay in the background and just be observant. Face your problems head on with confidence, courage, and you will emerge victorious. Okay. So it's very interesting because there's a little bit of a, a conflict here in the sense that it's saying that you have to bring something into balance, but on the same token, you can't directly control the situation, but they're saying you do have to face this. Okay. So I would say if I want to just feel what's going on here, you have a situation going on right now where you have to be cognizant or delicate about how you handle it. And that's what I would say the chame chameleon is saying to me, that you got, when you're in Rome, you gotta do what the Romans do, right? So you gotta adapt to the situation and do what the Romans do. And, um, but you also can't you know, back down. You have a certain thing that's going on with you and you guys have to stand your ground in what you want. Because standing your ground is going to bring you a victory here. Because yes, you can see the, you can do what the Romans do and you can understand the situation and kind of play politics here. But on the same token, you can't let somebody run over you, right? Because you've worked hard to, uh, to climb that mountain. And now you're kind of juggling between this situation but you can, you can power through this. Let's go further. Yep, Spirit is saying there's a bigger picture here. And if you look at this situation, step back, and you look at it from a higher perspective, it's going to allow you to make a better decision. It's very easy when people make us angry, upset, emotional, to, um, to react. But also, that's what I feel like the chameleon is saying. He's saying, no, sit back. Look at the situation, examine it, use your intelligence, and from your intelligence, make an informed decision to stand your ground. Don't let this person trigger you. Don't let these people trigger you, put you in a place of uh, you know, negativity. You know what the bigger picture is. You know how to overcome this, but be strategic about it. Yeah, even the octopus is saying, shape shift by altering your physical appearance and mannerisms. Yeah. So I get the sense if you look at the octopus, it's kind of like what I said. You're doing what the Romans are doing, right? You gotta shape shift, you gotta you gotta adapt your situation. But on the same token, you don't have to let people mm, take advantage of you. Okay? So and I know because me being an empathetic person, I have dealt with this situation, so I can definitely speak on this, okay? Uh, I've been in uncomfortable situations and so forth, so on, and I had to adapt to that. But on the same token, it's okay to say no. It is okay to say no. You don't have to say yes all the time because sometimes saying yes can disturb your peace, right? So yes, you can play politics here and you can look at the situation and look at the bigger picture, but on the same token, you have to ask yourself, do you want this situation? Do you want to put yourself in this situation? Or do you really just want to say no and do you want to back out of that situation? So really you need to examine that because you know what's going to happen if you say yes to that situation and you put yourself in that situation and you don't want to be there? You're going to feel that the whole time. And that's not really, it's not really valuing your time. It's not really valuing your worth. So I want you to take that into consideration. Okay. So my beautiful darlings, as I always say, Taurus, 
I am only here as guidance, okay? So you guys don't have to take my advice if, if you don't want to. It is completely up to you. I am only the messenger here. So listen to your heart and pay attention to your intuition, intuition so you know what's best for you. I love you guys so much. If you guys like it this way, you want me to continue this way, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. I'll see you guys another day or two. Yes, I do love hearing from you guys in the comments below. So my darlings, if this resonates with you, you want to claim this message or you feel comfortable sharing your own personal situation with me, I do read my comments, guys. So I do enjoy hearing from you in the comments below. Also, there's multiple readings you guys to go check out right now. As you guys know, I release a lot on this channel. So there's multiple things you guys watch for your sign like the 2023 reads, like the monthly reads, I'm doing the mid-monthlies now, like the weeklies, like the bi-weeklies, like the feelings, true intentions, uh, no contact reads, all up and available for you guys to watch right now the next three months. Uh, singles reads, all up and available for you guys to watch right now for your sign. Um, you can go to the playlist, you'll find a bunch of readings there, or even the front of this channel, you'll find a bunch of readings there and playlists. And also for my social media list, uh, um, you know, links. I just want to cover this because I get so many emails about it. Every, all of my social media links are in the description box of this YouTube channel, on the about page of this YouTube channel, and also on my website. You can find all of my links there. So if you're confused at all of which uh, Facebook page I am, which Twitter I am, which Instagram I am, which TikTok I am, all of the links can be found in the description box below on the about page of YouTube or on my website. I love you guys so much. I will see you guys another day or two. Have a great rest of your next couple days and I will see you guys soon.